explains the Boeing Company's philosophy relating to normal airplane operating procedures on 7 to start. Boeing ground. Boeing trainer 01. Where is the start in? Boeing trainer 01. Engine start approved. Call and ready to taxi. Ground crew, this is the captain. The start sequence will be number two engine and then number one. When clearance for start is received, the crew completes the normal procedures from memory. The captain then calls for the checklist. Before start checklist below the line. Air conditioning pack, off. Start pressure, 40 PSI. Any collision light, on. Doors, closed. Before start checklist complete. The crew member who read the checklist should announce that the checklist has been completed. Starting number two. Clear. The crew now performs the engine start procedures. Normally, the number two engine is started first, followed by number one engine. Starter cut out. After the second engine is started and has stabilized, the crew will perform their after-start memory items. When the crew has completed these after-start procedures, the captain calls for the after-start checklist. After-start checklist, electrical. Generators on, pedal On, anti-ice. Off, air conditioning pressurization. Packs on, flight, APU. One minute's up, Captain. The APU must not be shut down until one full minute after the pneumatic load has been removed. Start levers, idle detent, after start checklist complete. Okay, get taxi clearance. Boeing ground, Boeing trainer 01. Taxi, I have information alpha. Boeing trainer 01, taxi to runway 13 right. The first officer checks recall before leaving the chalks. The captain coordinates with ground control and maintenance personnel. Ground, this is the captain. Now we're ready, taxi. We're clear right, captain. Clear left. The captain smoothly taxis the airplane with the tiller and minimum thrust. When the airplane is clear of the equipment and personnel, the crew begins configuring for takeoff. It flaps five. Flaps five. At this command, the first officer selects takeoff flaps and completes the remaining before takeoff memory items. The captain holds the tiller firmly while checking for rudder pedal movement. The captain may brief the takeoff at this time if it has not already been accomplished then calls for the before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff checklist down on the line. Recall. Check. Flight controls. Check. Claps. Five, green light. Rudder, aileron, and stabilizer trim. Zero, zero, five units. Cockpit door. Locked. Take off briefing. Reviewed. Before takeoff checklist, complete down to the line. The items below the line are completed after takeoff clearance is received. Boeing Trainer 01, runway 13 right, cleared for takeoff. Oh, Roger, Boeing Trainer 01, cleared for takeoff, runway 13 right. Before takeoff checklist below the line, the crew turns on start switches and transponder. The captain also selects auto throttles on and inboard landing lights at this time. Start switches. On. Transponder. On. Before takeoff checklist complete. Thank you. The airplane is aligned on the runway center line and thrust levers are set about three-fourths of an inch above the idle stop. This results in approximately 40% N1 RPM. Power is allowed to stabilize momentarily, 
and the pilot flying presses the toga switches to automatically set takeoff N1 thrust. Power should be set before 60 knots. Directional control will be maintained with rudder pedals only. Check takeoff thrust. Thrust set. As the takeoff roll continues, the first officer monitors the instruments. 80 knots. Check. At VR, the captain rotates smoothly to approximately 15 degrees nose up pitch attitude. V1 rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Gear up. Above 400 feet, an appropriate roll mode may be selected on the mode control panel. 400. LNAV. Thousand. N1. 210. Flaps one. Flaps one. Above 1,000 feet, N1 is selected on the MCP panel to enable the auto throttle to select N1 climb thrust. Flaps up maneuvering speed is selected, and the captain engages an autopilot if desired. Flaps are then retracted on the schedule. Flaps up. Flaps up. The non-flying pilot may now complete the after takeoff procedures from memory using the scan flow system. After takeoff check. Then the checklist will be both read and responded to by the pilot not flying. Air conditioning pressurization set. Start switches are off. Landing gear is up and off. Flaps are up, no lights. After takeoff checklist complete. Thank you. This completes part one of 737 normal procedures. We have covered before start through after takeoff procedures. Part two of 737 normal procedures contains descent through final airplane shutdown procedures. Please review the operations manual and the quick reference handbook before proceeding to part two.